What's up YouTube? War Factor here. Just wanted to make a quick video and show you some of the equipment that I'm using. And this particular telescope right now that I have here is uh, one of uh, Celestron's uh, advanced series go-to telescopes. It's called the C10 NGT. And it's basically a 10 inch Newtonian reflector mounted on Celestron's um, CG5 go-to mount. And the CG5 is uh, pretty well known in the amateur astronomy circles. Some people love it, some people hate it. I've had nothing but a good performance from it so far. Although this isn't my first telescope, I'd say it's really my first real telescope. The last scope that I used was um, had a quite small aperture and not nearly as well made as this one, but. Right now I have a track in Jupiter, which is up there. I'll see if I can uh, get in there and show you guys. There we go. See Jupiter there on some of his nose. Oops. See one of its moons right there at the lamp. Not sure which one that is. It might be Callisto. There we go. Uh, just a quick video to show you what I'm using. Um, it's a good telescope. I enjoy using it, um, but in this configuration, about the only thing it's really good for is visual use. Definitely would not want to use this for astrophotography, and I'll show you why. All right. Just by barely touching the focuser, you can see how much the image moves around. Well, the reason for that is because this particular optical tube is just too heavy for this mount. I'm not quite sure why Celestron sold this particular tube on this particular mount. Um, the weight capacity for this mount is about 35 pounds. The tube itself weighs about 33, so very, very close to its maximum. So it's, it's very wobbly. Um, like I said, just if you just touch it to focus, a uh, strong wind will cause the image to vibrate in the eyepiece, which is not good for astrophotography. You definitely don't want that. I'm thinking maybe in the future I'll probably upgrade the mount. But um, at the end of this year I'm planning on getting a new telescope altogether. I was thinking about maybe getting a uh, another Newtonian reflecting telescope, but now I'm thinking I'm leaning toward a uh, Smith Cassegrain. I'm not entirely sure yet, but my plan is to use this one purely for observation because it's really really good for for visual use, and then use the other for astrophotography. Like I said, it's overall it's a really good telescope. I enjoy using it. Um, the optical quality is really good. It's an f4.7, which means you're going to have a pretty good size uh, field of view. It's not quite as fast as some reflectors, but kind of a good middle ground. I 
but overall, I'll say it's definitely a, a good telescope. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates. We'll have more videos coming soon. And if you like what you see, please subscribe.